It's not a nine to five job for our assembly members. More often than not, it's 24 seven. Take Anne Jones, for example. The veil of Cloyd AM taking a call about a breaking story that six form colleges have been merged in her constituency. That's on top of her prep time for the Equality of Opportunity Committee meeting that she's about to chair. Hi, I'm Anne Jones. I'm the Assembly Member for the Vale of Cluid. I, I represent uh, Labour in the Assembly and I'm the Chair of the Equality of Opportunities Committee. So, without a break, it's over to the Senate for a quick meeting with the committee's clerking team before the meeting starts. But AMs don't just chair committee meetings. Clinically AM Helen Mary Jones is putting the finishing touches to a speech she's about to give over in the Senate. I'm Helen Mary Jones. I'm the Plaid Cymru National Assembly member for the Llanelli constituency. I'm the deputy leader of the Plaid Cymru group in the Assembly and a member of the Health, Wellbeing and Local Government Committee, Plaid Cymru's Health and Social Services spokesperson, and I also chair the Children and Young People's Committee. She's giving the speech at a report launched by lesbian, gay and bisexual group Stonewall Cymru. Assembly members often support events in the Senate. The business end of the day for any AM, of course, is that day's plenary session. Top of the agenda on any Tuesday is questions to the First Minister. Hi, my name is uh, Alan Cairns. I'm the Conservative Assembly member for South Wales West. I'm preparing to go to First Minister's questions, which takes place on a weekly basis. Uh, I'm allocated question 10 today, which we should get to all being well. Uh, and the focus of that question is sports development. Well, as well as a regional Assembly member, I'm the Conservative's Chief Whip. Uh, and I'm also the business, uh, Shadow Business Minister for the Conservative Party. Now, in effect, that means my job to influence the agenda of the Assembly, the agenda of the Assembly Government. So, you can hear the bell. That means uh, it's time that we're being called to the Chamber and I need to go. But members don't just work in the Senate building. Often they get out and about. Montgomeryshire AM Mick Bates, who also chairs the Sustainability Committee, visited Cardiff Library to launch a report on carbon reduction in public buildings. My name is Mick Bates. I am a Liberal Democrat member from Montgomeryshire and I chair the Sustainability Committee. Today is an exceptionally important day because we're launching our third report on how to reduce carbon emissions in Wales, and in this case from public bodies and industry. And we've chosen to launch it in this fabulous Brigham Excellent building, which is an exemplar of what all public bodies should do, is to build to the highest standard available. So, as you can see, our Assembly members perform a wide variety of tasks, and that's on top of the work they do for their constituents. Not 9 to 5, more like 24-7.